All right, boys, we are back with some more home safety hotline. And I'm really excited to get into it because actually, I think we can complete the game today. I could be having to eat my own words here. But I firmly believe we can get to whatever conclusion this game comes to. Comes to. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you can't afford the TTS because you're still saving to for me to go bald? Oh, wait, I have so many new emails. But wait, 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 wait. Before we do, I want to watch this. What kind of broadcast are we, are we working with? The real estate update? Okay. What's up with the real estate? Hmm, 84,000. What is this, back in the 70s? Okay, wait, no, it's a one bedroom, two bath. I mean, it's still nice. Still nice. Yo, what if we called that number up there on the, the contact? 555-535-1331. Five, 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 three, five, one, three, three, one. 120,000 for a four bed, five bath? Dude, this has got to be back in like the 60s or 70s. Oh? A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Bear... Okay, I'm not going to read all those counties. Oh. Never mind, it's it's not there anymore. This is a missing persons alert. Authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect I don't like that. Described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person, last seen at approximately 10:25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity. To your local authorities. I mean, that house has a bush or a shrub on it. Okay. Uh, didn't like the part about the missing person because I don't think a missing person is ever good. Um. Okay. What is this? Uh, it's too late for you now. Okay. Oh, is that a? Is that a wall uh, uh, goblin thing? I forgot what they're called. Uh, they gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, uh, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe... Safe... Hitra? Wait, did they turn him into like a mouse? I got turned into a mouse once. Crazy? I was crazy once. Uh, attention, call team. Our network team is migrating our back-end services over to a new hosting provider for this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Okay, understandable. Please be sure you're studying your information carefully. You will still be expected to provide accurate news. Okay, I this better come with a pay raise. If I'm expected to know the information without having a reference, you better up my pay. I know my worth. Okay, and I'm not going to stand for this. Okay, what is this? Uh, coupon employee, your high accuracy rate has awarded you the daily coupon. Used horseshoe. Ooh, what a steal. It's $3 off. <laughs> Thank you. I can use this horseshoe for all of my horses. Actually, just one. I guess you could say one-fourth of a horse. It's only one shoe, so what good is that? Okay. Let's just get to work. Let's stop thinking about how bad our job is and how much we need to raise and get into the meat and potatoes of the game. Our duties here. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry if that's loud. I really apologize. All right, let's clock in. Boys, I'm expecting you to help me out, by the way. I'm expecting you to help me out. Okay, it says that we... Oh, they were called hops. It says that we lost some data, but the data is still here. So I don't understand why it said that. Oh. Hello, is this my manager? Hello, Supervisor yeah. Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information Good. to work with for your future calls. 
Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our... Okay, gotcha. All right, so now we have more entries. The lamp sprite. It's a sprite and a lamp. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to speed run through these. The false artifact. Okay. Human designs objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. I don't know what manifest really means. Uh, Boggart. What the heck is that? I mean, I know what a Boggart is from Harry Potter. Boggarts in general, uh, in the general form. Oh, hello? What can I do for you? There's something in the basement. Okay. I've seen it. It's huge. Almost as big as my dog. It doesn't uh -huh. hiss or growl or anything. Yep. But I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since mm -hmm. I can still hear the steps yep. creaking under its weight down there. Okay. So it's something big. Uh, okay, David. Uh, also, David, you sound... Okay, maybe I shouldn't say this. But David, you sound a little feminine. Um, is your name really David? Okay, I'm getting to the semantics of things. Um, please hold. Yeah, please hold. So we have something big in the basement, chat. What's big that could be in a basement? Maybe a tea sprite? No, that's in a thing of tea, dude. Toilet hob? No. can't. It, it can't be a toilet hob. Uh, unicorn fungi. Whistling fungi. Wine sprite in wine. Wood secretions. Okay, no, this is a creature. A mouse? I don't know if a mouse can, like, uh, make a floor buckle under its weight. Mirror nymph? That's kind of cool. Subspecies of nymph, known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. Oh, so it's like a Wendigo, kind of. It's like a doppelganger. Memory Wisp. Huh. Okay, what I'm thinking is it's something big. False Rosebush. I mean, that looks like a rosebush with feet. Plant-like creature. That's feet. Okay, let's go down the list, chat. We're gonna go down the list. It can't be a bat, can't be bed bugs, can't be bed teeth. Bed teeth sounds horrifying, by the way. Uh, bees, black mold, boggart. What is a boggart? Boggarts are extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious night, nightly household activities, which can often cause injury and death. They also react very violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Okay. I'll see you later, Death Slayer, or Super Auto Pets fan. Sorry, I'm getting used to your new name. Um, the Boggart's not, not that, okay? Cellar Growths, though? No, that's not like a, a thing, though. It's a fungus. And it can't be any of these things. So what's giant and can go in a basement? A stair slug. Can be beneficial to a household as they frequently feed on other pests such as mice and hobs. But the slimy residue they leave behind can be dangerous. Oh wait, stair slugs are large dog-sized slugs that are commonly known to occupy stairwells and basements. Okay, David. David, I think I have an answer to your problem. That's a stair slug, and I I I can guarantee we're gonna be in and out. Okay, we'll get it we'll get it taken care of. Yep. All right. You have a good day, man. Ma'am. Man. Something. Right. So let's continue our studies. We know what a boggart is now. Oh, okay. Never mind. Hello? Hey, hey Peter. Uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Okay. Along with this uh, nasty smell. Okay, I know exactly what you're dealing Please with. Hold. You're dealing with a pipe hob. Um, so pipe hobs are very common. Uh, the only thing is, uh, with pipe hobs, you don't want your kids sticking their hand in there. Okay? Uh, so pipe hobs are a subspecies of hob that are known for making homes uh, in, in, in tube-like structures such as pipes. Okay? Um, they don't bear a false face, so stay at ease, all right? Um, they'll commonly emerge at night, and they can serve, do can serve dirt, grime, anything like that. Um, 
Never mind, I don't think that this is a pipe hop. How is it smelling gross? Why is your pipe smelling gross? Just pour some boiling water down there. <laughs> the pipe hob's getting his face burnt off. Pipe growth, wait a second. Okay, pipe growths don't make smells. What would be in a pipe and smell? It sounds like a riddle. <laughs> You're going on a trek to uh, that mountain, like in The Hobbit, and one of the riddles is... Is that... What has... What is in a pipe and smells? Black mold. A musty smell? What'd you say? Hey, uh... I Actually... Um... Weird noises. Okay, that's not gonna be black mold, sir. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. What's gonna smell? Sir, I think you're making this up. Peter, I firmly believe that you're not smelling anything. Okay? You don't smell shit! I think you're pulling my leg. Who put you up to this? Is this, Was it Doris? Did Doris put you up to this? It could just be pipe growth. Yeah, it, it has to be. I mean, it's making loud bubbling noises, but like... The thing is... Bathroom faucet. It says nasty smell, but they don't say anything about a smell here. So what else, before I jump the gun here... Okay, it has to be, it, it has to be this. I just don't know about the smell thing, man. Okay, sir, uh, my best estimate here is gonna be pipe growth for you. Okay, you ever heard of a pipe growth? No? Well, uh, we'll come deal with it, man. I promise. What's the boggart again? It couldn't have been the boggart. The boggart's like a creature. It doesn't, like, live in the, the pipes. It's, like, big. So, the pipe growth is the best answer. Does that... Okay, okay, he, he hung up. Okay. We'll get that taken care of, though. Don't even worry. If it is a pipe growth, it'll only take, like, a few seconds. But, if it's not, then that could be a problem. Hello? How can I help you, caller? My wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's gone. My okay. Wife, I can't see her face. Yeah. I yep. can't see her face. Yeah. She did it. I can't see her face. They're all gone. Please hold. All right, please hold, sir. I think I know exactly what you're dealing with. So there's something called a mirror nymph. Okay, and what the mirror nymph does, uh, it basically steals the likeness of someone. Uh, uh, generally fall faceless, uh, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror, and they beckon onto others to look into whom was afflicted, commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Okay. Their own, though. You're so right. So what else could it be? What kind of thing steals faces? Memory Wisp. Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided is incorrect. This will be corrected by the end of the month. Okay, gotcha. Uh, they're invisible, odorless household wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infested with memory wisps often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of one they loved. Of loved ones. Not one they loved. I can't read. Okay... This is, dude, sir, uh, not dude, sorry, that was unprofessional to me, my bad. Um, you're dealing with a memory wisp. So, why don't we get that knocked out, um, in a jiffy, okay? We'll be over in a second, and you have a great day, okay?
Is Quaid a name? Quaid is a name. I used to have a friend back in elementary school. Shout out to Quaid. Um, he had alopecia. Quaid with alopecia. Um, and he was cool. Uh, and then there was a guy in high school I knew named Quaid. Quaid's an... Uh, yeah, it's a name. Not a common name. It's a name, though. Wouldn't name my kid Quaid. No offense to Quaid's out there. Hello? Uh, I don't know what this weird info you sent me means, but okay. I tried it and, uh, it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Sir, I did my best. I'm sorry. I promise. I, I was using my expertise. It, it's not even, you know, I, I really don't know what you're dealing with. You might have just needed a plumber. You probably have, like, some, like, granules of poo-poo stuck in your faucet. Hello? Hey, yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business, whatever. I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers. Uh huh. And I grab you by the goober and smack you around <laughs> till next Sunday. You gonna grab me by the goober? What you gonna do? What you gonna do to me? All right, sir. Thank you for prank calling me. I really appreciate that. I haven't heard goober in 17 years. Hello? Uh, hi? Hi? I uh, have no Why you... idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my legs itch I like know crazy. exactly. Okay. Do I need to be showering more often? Please okay. Hold. Okay, no. I know exactly what you're talking about. Very common. Very common occurrence. It's bed teeth. Oh, network error? That's okay. I know it's. I know what it is. Also, you asked what a goober was. A goober is a name for a peanut, but also, uh, some people call a thing like a a male genitalia, a goober. Sometimes, like very silly people do. <laughs> Not normal people. Very silly peop people. People ought to grab you by the goober. All right, sir, you have bed teeth. You have to get those teeth out of your bed. Okay, all of my data is corrupted. I'm going off the cuff on this one. Oh, this is going to be my expertise. Yes, hello? Hello? Hey. I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Mm-hmm. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. Okay. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I have a cat named Whiskers, and oh, sometimes... Oh, very cute. Like, Whiskers? Uh-huh. But he would never do that to the wall. Okay. He knows just how naughty that would be. I oh. know. It would be very naughty, wouldn't it? But I know you have a wall hob, ma'am. Uh, so what wall hobs do? Wait, I thought there was a wall hob. What is it called? Is it not a wall hob? Fracture hob. That's what it is. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. So, they're going to cause cracks in your walls, ma'am, okay? The fracture hob is, is pretty common, okay? He shouldn't bother you too much. He's just going to make some damage. Uh, but, ma'am, ma'am, don't look at him or his false face is going to drop and he's going to, he's going to, what is it, terraform? <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna do something you don't want him to do okay metamorphosize okay you don't want you you wouldn't like him when he's metamorphosized but it is definitely a fracture hob okay okay man i'm so good at my job i'm so good at my job oh wait i have another caller hello Okay. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream. What kind of <laughs> joke is that? It's, it's not a joke, sir. Now that I've been dealing it's... with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. 
Your employee's stupid joke is now probably it's not a joke. Who knows how much a repair costs? So it's a desk cob. And tell them they owe me big time. No, it's a desk cob. Figure out what's going on in my house. Please hold. Wait, what? I swear it's a desk cob, sir. Uh, last week I called uh, something some about leading out a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now, and I think I've been dealing with this racket. Um, starting to have power outages. Your employee stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much the repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them that you uh, owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you will figure it out now. Sir, I can't give you a definite answer here. I don't know, power outages? That's very vague, sir. That's very vague. What? Dude, what? Dude, this guy thinks he's like a goofball calling that I'm telling him to put out a bowl of yogurt and he's not even going to tell me what the real problem was. Bro, it's literally, it's literally a common hob, right? Bowl of cream. You need a bowl of cream, man. I don't know what else this could be. I gotta tell you, it's the common hob, bro. That's what it is. I mean, your power's going out, but I really can't help you on that one, man. Wait, what about a boggart? Oh, the boggart, sir. You have a boggart. In general term for metamorphosis, uh, metamorphosized hob. So a boggart is a metamorphosized hob. They are quite large, hairy, uh, hairy humanoids between six and seven feet tall, and bear fairly convincing false faces. They are known to cause household accidents such as flooding, fires, electric outages. Okay, how are you going to solve this, Gary? Gary, I'm really sorry that I said this was a common hob. My bad. This is... You messed with the common hob. He metamorphosized. So now, do not under any circumstance refer to an active boggart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak of the boggart in any time. In any fashion, it will remain in its original location. So you gotta leave. You gotta get out of your house. Boggarts are bad. No. Get get out. Get out of your house. Boggarts are no good. Good. Oh, yeah. It's the boggarts house now. It's like when I see a spider, bro. 66.6%. .6%, I'll take it. Honestly. If Boggarts took over the world, they they just have it. There's nothing we could do about it. That's some SCP stuff. Okay, so now we need sci we have science mysteries. I tell you what, science mysteries is going to be for another day. And another video for those of you on YouTube. If you watched all the way to the end, you were a very small amount of people who actually watched till the end. Um, and I would love for you to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, uh, because I want to know who it is that, that sticks around till the end of my videos. Uh, I will be very surprised if anybody did. <laughs> but if you did, let me know. And, um, I will catch you all with this spooky game, um, in a few days. And if you like it, uh, come hang out on the stream, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, any weekday. Anyway. I'll uh, catch you crazy kids later. Bye. Peace. Get out of here. Leave.